What's up, YouTube? It's Ollie Beans from I Freaking Love This. And in today's video, we're going to be giving away another free resource. Today's free resource are Twitch slash OBS alerts. What is an OBS or Twitch alert? It's what happens when you're streaming and then you've got a viewer that performs an action like following you or subscribing and a nice graphic and audio pops up and then has some text underneath that mentions who did it and what they did. And so this pack I'm going to be giving away for free actually matches with the free transitions as well as the free webcam frames or animated webcam frames, I should say, that I gave away in previous videos. Links to both of those videos will be in the description below. So let's get right into how to get these free Twitch slash OBS alerts and then how to use them. I will actually put a timestamp there. So when you know it starts for where to download them, how to use them on stream elements, and then how to use them on stream labs as well. Let's get right into the video. All right, so to get these free resources, in this case, the free Twitch slash OBS alerts, all you want to do is go to discord.ollybeans.com and that'll take you to this welcome page. You won't be able to see the rest of these channels just yet, but there'll be a welcome message for you here. You would just click on rules and then just give a thumbs up agreeing that you agree to the rules, essentially saying you're not going to be a dick in my server. Then once you've done that, all these other channels will appear for you. You just want to go to streaming resources and the ones we're talking about today are the free Twitch slash OBS alerts. You just want to click the download button there, and then you can unzip them. There are eight different color combinations. All those color combinations also match up with the free OBS stinger transitions, as well as the free animated face cam borders slash webcam frames. They all have the same eight color combos. So you can combine these and have essentially professional setup for your stream up and ready to go free just for hanging out with us in the discord now there's other channels on the discord like the hype channel and other channels as well you can feel free to post your stream content there as well and the rest of the members will have a chance to check it out now after you've downloaded this you just want to unzip it with whatever you unzip your files with and that'll give you all the files within the download that download will then look something like this and let's just choose the uh, white and orange as an example I do have WebM files as well as WebM no audio. And that's because some of you might want to add your own audio to these alerts. You know, having something special for cheering, having something special for hosting or raids. But let's take a look at what they look like with the audio on. And let's watch that again since I had to drag it over. And you can see I've kept them to go for a while there. And that's so when you set them up, you'll actually have time to add the message underneath for who did it and what did they do. And so you've got cheer, donation, follower, host, raid, and subscriber for all of the different eight color combinations. And again, these do match with those animated webcam frames and free stinger transitions. So you can combine them to have a full kit. All right. Now that you know how to download these and how to hang out with us in the Discord, let's get right into how to add these to stream elements. All right, now that you've got the free alerts, you probably want to know how to actually use them on stream. So these will eventually go and get connected with OBS, but I highly recommend using a third party tool to make it much easier to do so. What you see here in front of you is one of my stream elements overlays. You can do this with either stream elements or stream labs. I prefer stream elements personally, just because everything gets attached to a single browser source, making it much easier to switch computers or stream while you're on vacation or at a buddy's house or whatever have you. So if you don't have a stream elements account, just go to streamelements.com. You can sign in with then with your Twitch account and everything will be connected. And then you'll be on your dashboard and on the left hand side there will be a menu item for overlays click on that and either use one of their uh, existing overlays or create your own as I've done here I've just named mine testing and all we're gonna do here is we're gonna hit this little plus button on the bottom go to alerts then alert box 
You do need to set these up individually so it knows what action to display what video with. I'm going to click on the cogwheel. Now you can see here the default one from Stream Elements is this heart, you know, bright red colors, which looks great, but that might not match your theme. So what you want to first want to do is clear that out so that way they're not duplicate showing and then click on change video. And you can see here, I already have this one in uploaded. If you don't have it uploaded, which you probably don't, you want to go to the top right, click on upload and then just drag it in. Then you want to go back to videos, find the video you just uploaded, hit submit, and you always want to hit save after making any changes. And then to make sure everything is connected correctly, you just want to go to emulate on the bottom here and then emulate a follower event. Hey, thanks for the follow, Babby. Babby is a fictional person in this scenario. Now, the font that I used in the actual alert is open sans bold and I'll have that on screen here and so you can match the fonts underneath here to actually match to match those fonts if you'd like And I did that the wrong way. Let me disable that here. Just pick it from there. Now we can hit save. Emulate again. And now that font matches much more closely. Now we've got this color here that is purple. We might want to match that to this orange here. And honestly, I forget where that is. Ah, it's the highlight here. And I believe this is going to be FF1234. Nope, that's a red. Let me pull up the fonts file that I have for this. Give me a moment here, folks. I maybe should have had this ready, right? All right, here we go. And boom. Hit save again. Emulate. Follower event. <laughs> And now you've got a complete follower alert that matches your color scheme. Now, we do notice that there's the Twitch alert, that little ding, as well as the kind of more bassy sound that actually comes with the alert that I created. Let's see if we can't set that. So let's actually default OG here. We can slide that down. Hit save. Alert. Oops, sorry. We're going to emulate follower event and now it only has the sound that came with my free alert pack now you can choose to use both of them they actually do sound pretty good in conjunction with each other or you can choose to use the video file in the webm no audio and those ones have you guessed it no audio and that way you can find your own sounds to actually be able to use or you can just use the default twitch notification sounds all right, let's move right on to into actually before we move on into stream labs in order to get this working in OBS What you want to do is go here copy your over overlay URL Sorry for the infinity view about to happen here. You want to hit the plus button here and go to browser We're gonna just call this browser alert Then you want to paste this in here I have this set to 920 by 1080. Hit OK. And now, when we do an emulation, it should appear here as well. Perfect. And you've just set up your alerts for your overlay using Stream Elements. All right, now let's actually move into Streamlabs. <laughs> All right, and now we're going to go through the same setup process, but this time we're going to set it up using Streamlabs instead of Stream Elements. You go to streamlabs.com, create an account using your Twitch account, and just follow the prompts. That'll take you to your dashboard. Then to get to the alert box screen, I just click on alert box in the left-hand menu here. 
you want to scroll down and open up global event types. We're going to be using Twitch follow for this example again. Go here. We've got an image file. We want to just hit the plus button. Go to uploads. You would just drag this in just like you did in stream elements to upload it. I've already done that. Hit select. Hit save settings. Set a test. Boom, you're done. This already uses open sans, but we can change the color here if you'd like to match with the orange like we did in stream elements as well. And then there you have it. You do the same thing. You copy a URL, grab OBS open. Sorry for the infinity view. Go to the plus symbol. Go to browser source. We'll call this one stream labs. Hit OK. Paste the URL in. We want to do this same width and height that you're streaming at. Hit OK. And then let's pull this up for a test. And boom, you can see here it's already integrated with OBS for you and ready for you to stream on Twitch. And remember, by going to the Discord server, there's eight different colored combos that come with this set. And there's ones for following, subscribing, hosting, rating, donations, cheers, and they all match up with the free Stinger transitions and free face cam borders, a.k.a. webcam frames. And there you have it. 100% free, done for you, Twitch slash OBS alerts, ready for you to download and put into either OBS itself or Stream Elements or Stream Labs. Now, if you found this video helpful, if you really like the free resources, maybe like the video or even subscribe and hit that bell. It does help the channel out and will allow me to make even more free resources for you. If you ever have any questions about the videos that I do, I do stream on Twitch under the name Ollie Beans three nights a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. I'll put the link down in the description below. You can just give it a follow and you'll be notified of when I go live. You can come by, ask me questions about setting up these resources or what's coming up in the future, or just come bust my chops while I game. I'm Ollie Beans from I Freaking Love This. I'll see you in the next video. Be good to each other.